Creating stripe and check patterns in Photoshop is so easy and so much fun. I created the five patterns on this video in less than 10 minutes. Stripe and check patterns are also handy when you have some kind of seamless pattern but you feel like there's too much empty space there and you want to fill it with some kind of background. How to create a stripe pattern? So first you just open Photoshop. File, New, I'm gonna make all the patterns today in the size 300 pixels. So 300 by 300. If you want to learn more about the sizing your patterns right, check out my tutorial on size. So here we go. Then I go to view and I select new guide. I put vertical 50%. I'm first creating a vertical stripe. Select the selection tool from the menu here. Use the rectangular selection tool and make sure the feather is at zero pixels. And then I go up here and check that my selection tool is snapping to the guide. Then I use the selection tool to draw over the area. And use the paint pocket tool to color the area and this time I'm just using black, black and white to show you the classic stripe. So now the pattern is actually already ready. So now we go to edit, define pattern and then I'm gonna type here stripe vertical. Okay. Then I'm gonna open a new file just to show you how this stripe will look in reality. So I'm gonna go to new file Print A4. Then I go to Edit, Fill, and I choose from the Custom Pattern menu. If you're not seeing this Custom Pattern menu right here, then you need to first go to the menu where it says Contents and choose that to be Patterns, and then you're gonna see your Pattern menu. Here I'm gonna select the pattern we just made. The stripe pattern is here at last, and here we go. Look at that! The fastest way to make this pattern horizontal is to go to Image, Image Rotation and select 90 degrees clockwise. Then I'm going to edit again and choose the defined pattern. Type here Stripe Horizontal. OK. And then we go back to the A4 to see how it works. And we're gonna make a new layer and choose edit, fill, and from the custom pattern menu, we'll choose the last one. Okay. And here we have a horizontal stripe. Remember to save your file and you can save it by going to the file, save as. I'm saving these as PNGs so I can later use them in my Redbubble or Printful store. They are ready to use as they are. Next, I'm gonna make another stripe pattern and I'm gonna show you that you have so many options when you're doing a stripe pattern from choosing the right colors. If you're not sure what colors to use, I recommend you watching my tutorial on colors. So I opened again a new file and again I made it 300 pixels to 300 pixels. This time I'm improvising with the size of the stripes because I don't want to create another one exactly 50%, 50%. So I'm not using any guides. I'm just going with the flow here. Again, I'm using the selection tool. This time I also want to change the background color. So I'm making my stripes in additional layers. You can create new layers by going to the layers box and selecting this create a new layer. I make a new layer for every stripe. In this pattern I'm using three colors. I'm using pink and orange because I think they look gorgeous together and also a little bit white to make it look more fresh. I wanted to duplicate the white stripe. 
I went to the layers box, selected the layer, click right mouse click, select duplicate layer. And here we go. Then I use the move tool to move it. I think it looks quite nice right now, so I'm gonna test it out. Going to the edit, define pattern, naming it. Then I go back to the A4 and make a new layer, fill it with this pattern. I think this looks really good, don't you think? So I remember to save it so I can use it later. Check pattern is as easy as stripe pattern. You probably already know how to make it, but if you want to follow me along, follow me along. I'm creating a new layer 300 pixels to 300 pixels. This time I'm going to the view, a new guide, and I'm creating both vertical and horizontal guides in 50%. I'm making a check pattern again on another layer using the selection tool and this time I'm gonna choose something red. I want to try to create that kind of classic check pattern that we see in picnic blankets and Christmas pajamas. So I'm first creating the vertical stripe. Then I use the selection tool again and this time I'm creating the horizontal stripe and I'm making this in a new layer and with different color. I wanted to try different kind of layer styles if it would work, but it didn't really work with this one. In the end, I just lowered the opacity so it would show through the color beneath. I went back to the view, made new guide in 75% horizontal. I added another stripe with the original color to blend it together better. Now I like it, so I go to edit, define pattern, name it, OK. And test it out on the A4. Edit, fill, select the pattern, OK. Yeah, I see the picnic or Christmas. So I save it. I'm going to create one more check pattern. This time I'm going to use the same canvas. I'm going to hide the red check pattern from beneath by clicking this eye icon on the layer. Then I'm creating new layers to make this new check pattern on. Now I'm making thinner stripes to create this lighter check pattern. I'm using light blue color. Select the layer, click right mouse click, select duplicate layer. Defining the pattern and filling it. It reminds me of notebooks in school. I think this pattern would work well in the background, so I want to try how would it look if it would be even smaller. So I go to image, image size. And put the resolution 
to 100. Okay. Then I'm going to define this pattern and fill it. Yeah, I think this could be the start for something beautiful. And remember to save your files in every size you're planning to use them later. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're gonna create your awesome stripe and check patterns. And check out my other tutorials on patterns and let me know what kind of patterns, no, what kind of tutorials you would like me to do next. I am Ellie, this was Ellie's illustration. Remember to give thumbs up to this video if you liked it or it was helpful to you or thumbs down. Either way, the comments are also welcome. Inspire and be inspired. Until we meet again, my friends. <laughs> Bye. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you enjoy creating your awesome stripe and check patterns and sell them and make millions with them.